Hi there, this is Matthias from cyberblock.de again. Today I would like to present you the HP 625, which I have in uh, the model number WS833EA, a uh, European model, um, which is kind of cheap model for small and home office business users, kind of that. Of course it has express card slot, HDMI output and uh, Bluetooth uh, uh, connection and some more stuff. Especially an AMD CPU called Athlon 2P320 which clocks with uh, 2.1 GHz on a dual core base. It also comes with an RT Radeon HD4200 uh, graphics chip. Of course it has some RAM, RAM <laughs> which you can upgrade up to 4 GB I think. And also it has a um, hard drive with 200, uh, 320 GB. Well the main reason why I made uh, this video is to show you um, how the SUSE Linux um, does a first boot. So this is uh, the first time I switch on the machine. Um, maybe I have a little look in the BIOS, and then um, I will rest I will start the machine to configure the SUSE Linux for my needs, uh, which you can follow in this video. This model is uh, 15 inches big. Um, it has a 15 inch screen, 15.6 inch screen. Um, and I compare it with a Compact Rosario CQ56, which I also have here, um, and you can see in another video of mine. As you see, uh, the system is uh, checking some things before it's uh, um, starting its first boot process. This takes a little time to um, put some data on the um, recovery into the recovery archive. While this is running, I can tell you about the machine that it also has uh, the advantages of a uh, matte display, um, which is nicer in the summertime outside, and also has a card reader to put in your photo, car photo cards or so. The home file system is now created. It says to me um, that it's done on device SDA3, which normally is for SSDs, but uh, in newer times uh, uh, is also needed for normal hard drives. The procedure is now about four and a half minutes, and uh, recovery data is. Um, stored on the hard drive now, which obviously takes a while. As we know, system data is often some gigabytes or at least some hundred megabytes. After the restart, which I think will follow, um, the choice for a recovery should be listed in the start menu, but we will see that then. Okay, here seems to come the reboot. Okay, uh, now I think uh, the normal first boot will start now, um, following by setting up the users and so on. Let's see. Maybe you know this from your Windows installation, but also it does a reboot uh, after creating a file system. And uh, then installs all the shit in the hard hardware and, and stuff. So here you see uh, the SUSE Frog. <laughs> I call it Frog, I don't know the real name. Um, the version is SUSE 11 called Desktop Enterprise Edition. And they still work together with uh, a company called Novell, um, which is the reason that you have to accept at least two software licenses. 
Now I saw that also on the Presario CQ56, um, which uh, came with an AMD CPU as well, called Zenfron V140. But uh, the quality of the video was not so good. Um, this is why I do this again. Now, also it's not a real problem to sign up two license agreements uh, when you think about what you have to do when you uh, download some Windows programs or so. You have to sign up at least once, uh, one, uh, for every program. After around about seven minutes now, and after layer, uh, uh, starting the hardware abstraction layer, um, I had to set up uh, the user accounts now and enter a root password. Also, I set the language from English to German. Of course, um, regularly my native language is German. Here you see uh, the welcome tool from Yast, the yet another, yet another system tool, followed by the already mentioned uh, software license agreements and um, a possibility to set up a host name and domain name, which I don't want to do now. So here some more configuration work seems to be needed. I think I've got it after that. Uh, 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 after setting up uh, date and time and uh, hardware config. So I did all this uh, without you. And here we see um, the configuration for Nova Customer Center, which I prefer not to do now. Of course, I, uh, so I click on Later Registration. So, and next, here comes the already anticipated reboot. Oh, I need something different before it does this. But I already know this from the Presario I, I tested. But instead of this uh, model, um, the HP 625 just takes some seconds to do a reboot. Setting up the system took about nine and a half to ten minutes now, I think, um, which is okay. And you can extend this by um, checking all these professional settings and so on, which I did not know. So, here we go. The system should boot up into the desktop now, because I switched off um, the question for password to be locked in automatically. I'm kind of interested in the look and feel of the SUSE Linux system now because I personally use the Ubuntu system um, which I really like. Someone told me uh, the SUSE Linux packet management wouldn't be that easy as the Ubuntu ones. But I try to have my own experience. So here we see the clean desktop. Just showing links to a personal folder and the trash. Down here in the right corner it shows me that it already found some wireless networks near us. So the network adapter is switched on. And here you also can configure the Bluetooth adapter. So uh, I hope you see all this and it's better than in my Presario video. Um, down in the right corner there is also a clock and the button to hide all windows to show the desktop. Also you can show the different desktops and the monitor settings, audio settings, network settings and a little sign for um, power management settings where you can also check the battery. In the left corner you have uh, the Tomboy uh, for small notices and also kind of a start menu which provides you the possibility to to get to the programs you use most to search for 
some data um, to show you the last documents um, to open up the Nautilus Explorer, which uh, gives you possibility to see all your hard drives and other data. From here you can also start the Yast um, terminal to control hardware settings um, and you can also shut down or log off a user and some other things. So far now for this uh, HP 625, it's a cheap machine at now, right now, 330 bucks at cyberpod.de. Watch me in my other videos and also on cyberblog.de. Thanks Matthias. Bye.